Her name is Lou Lou, the music guru. She's our 11 year old music guru. That's right, music. <laughs> Reviewing songs by cows. <laughs> songs about cows. Cows with guns. Oh, God, there's a whole other what? subject, a whole other category. Have you not heard that? No. Cows with guns. No. Cows with guns. <laughs> Now, Lulu and I both have it's not heard that. It's a true this. song. It was one of the original <laughs> songs from how, Justin Timberlake. How would Timberlake? even be able to operate guns? They don't have fingers, and the little trigger thing is very tiny. How would they do that? They've got hooves, <laughs> not fingers. You know, I've never fact-checked the song before. I've just enjoyed it for, the, for a song being about cows with guns. Anyway. That's why you should fact-check. That's what you're here for, Guru. We're looking at Justin Timberlake for today, kicking off with what? Summer love. It just can't be summer love. Australian group Sherbet also did a song called Summer Love in 1975. That's the one it's very I was different from this one. It's not the same one, yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Because this one is a quite up tempo dance song and it really shows off Justin's vocal range. Oh, he has got a good vocal range. I saw yeah. him in concert and he overtook Pink for my top concert of all time. I am busting to <gasps> see him. How dare you? Pink is awesome. It I is mean, what I'll it is. To, I'll have to go to a Justin Timberlake concert to see it. Gives another JT song. Take Back the Night. Then we could take back the night. Come on, use me up until there's nothing left. Take back the night. Not a massive one from JT. The music video was kind of cool, to be honest with you. Can't even think of it. I can't think of it either. No. Really? Are you going to do any in sync songs in here? I don't think I will because I've already given InSync a review. Oh, that's and right. And otherwise, InSync would drag down Justin Timberlake with them. <laughs> she didn't like InSync. No, you didn't like InSync. No. But that's no. where he got his start, right, Lulu? Right? Yeah, true. All right, give us another JT song then. Like I Love You. <laughs> Farrell Williams came up with the beat for this song. He was inspired by the funk sounds that he grew up listening to. Farrell Williams. That's who. Oh, Happy. Pharrell. I was like, who's Farrell? Happy. He's Pharrell. from Happy, right? Yeah, he's Farrell. from, he's from many, yes. <laughs> Will Farrell, yeah. that's right. No. <laughs> William Farrell. No, no not it's Farrell William. Williams. Yes. Farrell, Farrell Williams. I get them mixed up all the you, time too. <laughs> Lulu, I've got a question for you. You know, can't stop the feeling. Okay. I can't stop the I can't stop the Nothing I can see but you when you did he write yeah. Can't Stop the Feeling first or was it the movie? Which one came first? Because that comes from the movie Trolls, right? Yes, it actually did. And Justin, he provides the voice of a grumpy looking grey blue troll called Branch in the Streamworks film. It came out with the movie. Yeah, such a cool song and a cool movie. Yeah. Give us. Uh, I think there's a second one, but I haven't seen that one. Oh, yet. that's really good. Like it the, is? the Yeah, the rock trolls are meant to be the baddies, but I love them. <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly <laughs> so. <laughs> Lulu. Give us another Justin Timberlake hit. So, this song is called Rock Your Body. It's a good song, but the lyrics are definitely PG-13. So, we'll be moving right along to another song. Wait, hang on a second. pg is not that bad. <laughs> yeah, true, but I am 11. I am not a 13-year-old. I cannot... <laughs> no. Okay, got it. It's just about... Oh, let me break it down. Uh, when he says he wants to rock her body, yeah. uh, they bought uh, matching rocking chairs oh. for in the lounge when yeah. watching TV. Yeah. Recliner rocking chairs. Right. And uh, he was explaining, she was like, why'd you buy me a rocking chair? Yeah. He's like, want to rock your body. Yeah. Or maybe he put, stands behind her and rocks the chair as That's well. exactly, there you go, yeah. Lulu. That's what it's all about. <laughs> um, so I guess, Lulu, if rock your body is making you feel a little uncomfortable, what about sexy back? <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> Title makes me think my poor young brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. There's no like swearing or anything. No, it's just the subject. It's just a bit. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's actually just about. He's got a very good-looking back. Yeah. I've got a sexy back. Yeah. <laughs> That's the. It's very muscular. Yeah. It sounds like he's saying I'm bringing sexy back, which is weird. What why is he why would you want to bring that back? That, that he's was saying I've got a sexy reason. back. It, it just doesn't sound like it when he says it, but he's just referring to how nice. His back is. He's got probably very just good. had it waxed. He's been doing a lot of lat pull downs <laughs> at the gym, you know, yeah. and he's got quite yeah. defined um, deltoids. Yes, and um, that's what the song is all about. <laughs> what about what's the mirror one? Yeah, mirrors. Yeah. 
So this song was inspired by his relationship with actress Jessica Biel and by the marriage of his grandparents. It's eight minutes and five seconds long. So if you play this song for the whole time, that's my whole review, so... Yeah. What about the one about Britney Spears? I think it's what goes around comes around is a bit of... You know it Britney is. Spears, isn't it? It's okay, baby, They were quite the power couple at the time. They were, weren't they? Sure were. Because they were they? both mus- musketeers. Yeah, they were both musketeers. Yeah. And it was a very oh, young yeah, romance. Were. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I remember when this video came out for this song. And, and when the song came out, and he was like, oh, is that about Britney? That's right. Yeah. Ooh. And didn't he get an actress Ooh. that looked a lot like her? Is that, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, just to, yeah very much we so. weren't sure. Yeah, just <laughs> 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 All right, Lulu. Well, look, that's um, that's plenty. Obviously, he's one of the biggest, biggest artists in the world yeah what do you probably. reckon out of five as an 11 year old guru well i had to take a look at my charts for this one containing all the reviews and i've decided to give justin timberlake a 4.0 oh my goodness i'm shocked i am too i thought he would have got really high it wasn't really because of the instinct i just didn't enjoy <laughs> it was his, i can hear it his style <laughs> I think lyrically, lyrically too, the lyrical content yeah. for Lulu. And I remember when I was 11 and you too, probably, probably yeah. raps. I would hear songs like that and not even think about what it might mean. But this generation really kind of um, yes. uh, a bit wiser. And, Are we referring uh, more to ex- I've Got a Sexy Back Again? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, oh, I'm glad gosh. we cleared that up this morning. Okay, Lulu, um, I am going to throw to you Tina Turner. Woohoo! This will be fun. Oh, you know Tina Turner? Oh, yes, I do. I mean, the, she's been mentioned in a couple of my past reviews, and I've heard her songs on the radio. So, do you know the Nutbush? Oh yes, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. The I... disco from my middle school. Um, yeah. they did the Nutbush, and I'm like, what are we doing? So I started just. <laughs> what are we doing? Around, seeing what I, I started looking around, seeing what other people were doing, and they were like Nutbush, and I'm like, what's the Nutbush? And then <laughs> I think they started moving. And I'm like, yeah. All right. Well, we'll all do the Nutbush together when you come back next week with your review of Tina Turner. Woo! Lulu, the music guru, is out. Pass the and sounds it right. Can't stop this feeling. Oh! <laughs>